We have this whole fascinating field of study which just hasn't even been, been approached um, from a lot of biblical scholars. There's so much out there that hasn't even been hasn't even been touched, that hasn't even been been looked at, and we have an opportunity to learn the language and to really study it. A Syriac is actually Aramaic, which for people in biblical studies, it's uh, that's a little bit more kind of grounded in, in what they'll probably know. And it's just a different uh, dialect of it. It's It was spoken more to the East. We have a very large body of literature that is it's really fascinating. You know, that we have um, inscriptions in China that were written in Syriac. Uh, and so they were very, uh, very missional, covered a lot of ground. It was a very large church. And when a lot of people think like, well, why would I study this? Uh, you know, what's, what's the use for me? When you learn Syriac, there's a lot of things you'll be able to do. Um, they're really just another tool in your tool belt as far as biblical studies goes. If, for, if you're into textual criticism, it really allows a good, a good lens from which to see the early text. It's pretty useful language for that if you want to get into Semitics and um, you know Northwest Semitic languages and, and things like that. As we prep the course, it's for someone who doesn't necessarily have a very large exposure to um, Semitic languages that with the book and with the course, we can, we can break things down and make them a, a little bit easier. And so I wanted to write it for someone who was like, okay, I'm interested in biblical studies. I'm you know, interested in Syriac, but I've, I don't have you know, this vast uh, background of, of Semitics. I'd encourage you to check out the Syriac course today.